Alright, let's get to it. Scenario 14. Garrett had defeated the Emperor Pythion and reclaimed Warston, uh, Wars, <laughs> Warsong, but an extraordinary event was already set in motion. Win, total defeat of the enemy, lose death of Garrett, and it has uh, as an enemy one what turns out to be a werewolf, apparently, and a couple of friends again. Oh, really? Well, we don't, definitely don't care if they survive. Wolf pack. And that's it. There's a wolf in the middle. But um, actually what happens is we end up uh, going up against a bunch of wolves. So, Lance, uh, this is going to be a leveling scenario, so we're not, we're not going to bother taking Lance or anything like that. Let's see here. Thorn. Uh, well, we kind of forgot about Tiburon, haven't we? Um, beard. Yeah, let's, let's see here. Painter, Curlean. Do we do we even want to take? I, I don't think we even need. We want to take like Curlean or anybody. I'll take Thorn, and that's it. Uh, maybe he'll he'll get a kill or so. Give him some soldiers. Uh, no, no, we don't want to. Items, let's, let's divvy out the items here. I think, um, I think Sarva's gonna get some of this stuff. Thorn. Oh yeah, that amulet, by the way. Maybe I want to give a Sabra. I want to give Sabra that amulet, I think. Okay, so what does the amulet do? The amulet, uh, makes it so the range is increased. And I think that's it. It's been a while since I've actually tried it, to be honest. Yeah. And cross doesn't really matter now here. I'll give the cross, yeah. Oh, we definitely want to get some troops, right? Um, Sabra gets a... Uh, what does Sabra get? I don't know how, I don't remember how strong these guys are. I figure horsemen might be a good idea. Um, guardsmen with meat, no, they're guardsmen. Monks. Monks. And I think I will do archers with Garrett. Yeah, you know what? Let's leave Garrett with nothing because I'm pretty. It's, this is an easy scenario, actually. All right, Sabra, Garrett. We'll put you. I don't know up here. That's probably fine. We want to put uh, the rest of these guys within reach here. And Thorn. You know what? Let's not put Thorn right there. Let's put Thorn in that building. And Garrett, because Garrett can move up. He can he can catch up. Werewolves are invaded the city. Can you tell me how many they are? I can only see one. That's strange. We must destroy it before it attacks the citizens. Yeah, let's see here. Where is this guy? There he is. Uh, pretty wimpy, actually. Monster werewolf. Um, yeah, not that impressive. Uh, 29 def attack, 21 defense. Not really anything to worry about. But more show up later outside, if I remember correctly. What does she have? Yeah, look, hey, look at the range. It, it uh, I guess it doubled, what does it double the range? Range is four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, it looks to me like it more than doubles the range. Holy crap. Does it uh, do anything with the revision? No, it just doubles the freaking range, man. That's pretty crazy. So these guys can move just about in anywhere, and they're still in range pretty much. Helpful? Well... I don't think it's really that great. Um, you know, are you really going to have that much trouble with your range? I don't think so. Not not once you're, you know, the final class and you have range 4. I think range 4 is actually pretty good. 
I don't think this is needed at all, but I, I thought I'd try it out, because I, I didn't exactly remember what it did, but this apparently this is what it does. Okay, so Thorn's just going to stay put. Or is he? Maybe not. Thorn, I think I'll go down here. I think these guys, um, these soldiers here, with the citizens, they, um, I'm not sure what they do, actually. Oh, there's the other one right there. Yeah, but from what I remember, things start appearing outside here. So we're going to command defense. Um, I'm pretty sure that Mina can handle whatever's over here. Self, command, defense. I don't have to take, uh, take Pelay, um, because I, I believe over to the right here is going to appear another bunch. So what we're going to do is let's, let's move Pelay over here for now, I think. All right, um, I think that's it. Um, now, in in uh, um, Langrisser two, you get a bonus for like you know completing certain objectives on each map, but. I don't believe that's the case in Warsong 1, so uh, these citizens, we don't really care if they die or not. It's no consequence to us whatsoever if the the um, you know the soldiers and the citizens there die. But in uh, Langrisser 2, it, it, we'd probably get like a bonus at the end of the level if, if they were survived. I don't think that's the case here, though. I don't think there's actually any secrets here in this game. Oh, he's got those nice, uh, nice sonic booms there. Those Guile-style sonic booms. Attention! All citizens are to evacuate to the center of the city. Yeah, okay. Alright. So they're gonna evacuate to the center of the city. Big deal. Um, I think we just kill this guy and they, they, the rest of them show up. Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. Woo! What was that? Werewolves have come out of the woods. They've surrounded the city. Gather all the citizens in the center of the city. Don't allow the werewolves to invade. Okay, yep. Alright, yeah, that's how, it, that's how it goes. Okay, cool. Um, Sabra... Are you going to make it, or do we have to... What are we going to have to do here? Are we going to have to go back and forth, or what are, what are we going to have to do? Should I just stall to the left? It looks like I say she's level 8. I'm not sure if she's going to get exper enough experience by killing both of these to get there. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay, so Thorn, you're not going to be doing anything this scenario. Big surprise, huh? Switch that to manual. So I'll just... We're just going to set up um, Mina right here. She's just going to go right here. Um, I think... Uh, man, manual on Calais. And we're going to go help... I'm going to help Sabra to finish these guys off a little bit. I'm going to keep Garrett right there. In fact, we might go so far... I want to wipe out the guys to the right really fast and then swing back and, and try and wipe out the guys to the left with Sabra if she still needs experience at that point. If she still needs experience. And uh, let's see. These guys... No, these guys are fairly tough. 25. They've got a lot of uh, a lot of attack, man. 31 attack. It's crazy. I mean, 31 attack for a, for a soldier, anyway. 
And then, uh, you know, a lot of defense on top of that. So these are the guys to the right. They're moving up for some reason. Maybe targeting the citizens. Yeah, they're trying to come in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're trying to come in that way. That's okay. We, um, we have the movement to head them off. Oh, there's three groups over here. I didn't realize that. Okay, there's... There's three groups to the right, I think. Yeah, there's three. Okay, that's plenty. I, I definitely should be able to get enough experience with that to get Sabra to level 10. So I was a little bit worried that I might have to, you know, go to the left or go to the right and then go to the left again. But no, I, I, think, um, I think we'll be fine. So... <clears throat> So I will use this chance to train up uh, both Sabra and also Mina. Get Mina to level 5 so her uh, spells are a little bit more effective. And then also maybe Kalei might even you know, get a few levels after that. And I think after this, I'm almost positive after this scenario is the dragon. Okay, so we're going to use a few of the spell points here to heal up Sabra while she goes out there. I don't know, there's not really too much to do here, is there? I'm going to move, uh, move Garrett out there a little bit. Thorn. Keep Thorn right here. There's no reason to move him. And uh, this looks fine. It was an easy, easy turn. Thor's got his guys stuck up there. Yeah, so there's three of these guys to his side. That's a lot of experience, actually. And they do have a lot of... Um, a lot of attack, actually. We're going to have to do some spell damage. This is why spells are so important, at least for me. It's like, uh, these guys, even if you were a Grand Knight, you know, these guys would still slaughter your troops. I mean, you know, with the Grand Knight, you don't have any magic. Uh, these guys would still slaughter you, basically. <laughs> So, magic's kind of the way to go. I mean, it's not as if you can't do it without magic, but, you know, it's so much more convenient. Where's this third guy over here to the left? Yep, that'll slow you down a little bit, bro. Um, probably don't want to put these guys in a position where they can get totally wiped out. Uh, we we want to we want to wait on the troops right now because the uh, thing is we can get we can wipe out a lot of these guys with just the spells. We don't have to go too nuts there. I mean I want to I want to slam with a nice spell and then attack. And uh, looks like these uh, citizens right there are poised to get just absolutely slaughtered. So where's the third guy over here? Oh, he's he's right there. Oh, okay. He's just sitting there. Okay. I get it. Well, let's see how you like a little tornado there, Scarecrow. Yeah, 
There you go. Interruption and end of turn. Those citizens aren't going to move at all. Interesting. They're going to be pretty much destroyed. I hope it's not it's not my job to actually keep those guys safe. I, I really hope it's not my job to keep those guys safe. I don't remember seeing that. Whether or not that was the case. How could how could uh, how many of them can be there? There are they are in countless numbers. Not really. <clears throat> Didn't really want Garrett to get experience, but I don't think it matters. Okay, well, you know, let's, let's not feed him too much experience. Let's not get carried away. Oh, good. Okay, this guy's in, all right. So we don't have to worry about whatever would have happened if he had gone up there and killed the citizens. Dude? Yeah, we definitely need to hit you with some spells, I think. All right, that's good. I'm not gonna kill all of them, but I'm not gonna really do that much damage. Next turn, we get a nice big thunder. Okay, it's a nice, nice time for heal, I think, and then another thunder. like Garrett's going to get another kill here when I didn't quite want him to get another kill. Yeah, that's more like it. That's what I wanted to happen. Alright, that's good. That's a nice little bunch there for another Thunder. Very nice. Okay, this should probably be a wipeout. Yeah. Yep. So level four for Mina in a bit. not go missing too much there. There we go. Level 4. So Mina will hit level 5 for sure, so her uh, spells will be powered up, which is nice. First, let's hit with Thunder. We're definitely going to do this. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So, this guy's not going to really have any healed troops to throw at me next turn. Which is good. Troops. Well, we got a few troops that might heal. What? Say what? We only got one more, and then it's this guy. Um, and what I'm going to do after all of this happens is I'm going to heal my troops here with Garrett. So it's going to be pretty cool. So we've got them kind of in a nice circle there, and we can get them all with uh, healing magic next turn. Or this turn, actually. 
If I can even put this guy, let's see here, what kind of kind of a thing we got going here? Okay. Eh. Okay, this is I don't know, we may or may not win in this one. Okay, well, whatever, that's okay. Doesn't matter. Now we bust out with the healing. There you go. Not bad, huh? Okay. I mean, anybody call for another saint here? I think so. We'll take another saint. Pumping up to level five. Pretty easy. They can't hurt you if they can't touch you. Alright, I would guess we would do this too. What she has, she has wars on. Got a little earthquake here. All right, so she has worse songs. She's plenty protected. Boom. And now I think we're going to finish off the commander. There you go. He didn't really even get a chance. Keep on going. Almost, almost got me. So once Mina hits level 5, we want Kalei to hit level 5. That way we have two Tornado Casters, which are level 5. And I guess that's it. Oh, that's it, right? End of, end of phase, yeah. This is a very easy scenario from what I remember. Very quick. So, we might go ahead and um, do the next scenario after this because it's it's going to be really short. So, the next scenario, I think, is the dragon scenario, which is my favorite scenario. Oh, level 9. Oh, really? Well, you could thunder in that situation, but I don't know. I don't think that's probably necessary. We're trying to kill the leaders now. lose those monks. Maybe. Maybe not. Nope. Looks like I'm not going to lose those monks. Yeah. Didn't do a wipeout. Almost did. He's gonna lose that guy. There we go. 
almost level 5 with Mina. Once I level 5 with Mina, I don't really need to level her anymore because she's got her, her um, increased her spell power. Let's see, what should I do here? Maybe, maybe I should do a Thunder. That would just clean everything up kind of nicely. Everything that wasn't cleaned up would get uh, weakened. There you go. And I'm sure I could take one of these bosses out here with my, my horseman. Okay. So we got three bosses to take out here. This should get us to where we need to go. Come on. There you go. Yeah, definitely two more and we'll be level 10. No, no problem there. Oh, come on! Not gonna go for it. Not gonna... <coughs> oh, well. Okay, yeah, definitely the next guy will be level 10. Awesome! Right in time for the dragon, we will be level 10. That's perfect. No problems there whatsoever. And uh, what do we want to do here with this? Let's see here. Well, we definitely want to finish getting the level 5 magic tornado. Do I want to tornado this? I'll tornado. Oh, I missed that guy. Oh, I didn't even see that guy there. Well, that was dumb. Oh, well. Well, okay, this is, this is as far as we need to go here. We actually don't even need to go... Yeah. We just need to kill, like, one more, and I think that's it. And then the rest can go to Kalei. Yeah, that's it. Okay, level 5. We're done with uh, Mina. So, yeah, Kalei can do this. Now we just got the fact that I uh, got a whole bunch of people to get to Magic Knight. Um, that's okay. That's good. Good for me. That's good for me. So yeah, I I, uh, I neglected getting uh, everyone else to like Magic Knight. They're all lords and stuff. But you know that's okay. That's all right. Um, the Saints and the Rangers were top or higher priority for sure. I still got one guy who's still a fighter too. So we'll we'll get the. Um, um, I probably won't ever do anything with Tiburon now that I think about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. This is completely safe and should get me to level 10. You're going to see what the Ranger class is all about. Oh no! I was wrong! Okay, well, in that case, we gotta go. We gotta go back to the left. I'm a little bit short, and I was wondering about that. It turns out, yep, I'm a little bit short. Okay, so... But uh, one or two more kills and, and we should be there. So, yeah. So let's not kill everything with, uh, with um, Kalei then. Let's kill a lot of stuff with Kalei, but not everything. This is the new improved tornado, level 5. Yeah, that's what it's like. And magic tornado? Um, nah. Should I do one of these? Let's do one of these. 
Whoa! Okay, well, maybe that wasn't such a hot idea. We'll just uh, surround ourselves with our troops here and we'll be fine. I think. Yeah. That should be fine. Um, I... Th yeah, so we're, we're fine. We're fine. In the face. We just gotta save enough to get Sabra to level 10, that's all. like retreat with um, both these saints because they're gonna probably kill the leader on accident if we wait too long so like I said we definitely want Sabra to get to Ranger next map by next map pretty sure the next map is the dragon one Yep, we pretty much wiped out a bunch of these guys. We need to retreat because we need to save these guys for Sabra for sure. We don't want to be... Don't want to chance this. Alright, Sabra, you got it. Change the move to defense and let's go! Okay, this guy is going to... Um, hmm. Or maybe I just do this. Let's do this and let's keep him healing. Okay. And, uh, well, we could kill that. I'm sure, I mean, definitely if we leave the leader, then that should be fine. Let's go retreat here. do that in the face And he's going to lose this guy. Maybe not. Maybe not. Or he is when I, get a, when I fireball him. Go Sabra. Go Sabra. Got a ways to go, huh? No magic points left? Okay, then you're totally worthless. Let's get you out of here. Uh, yeah, let's do a fireball. I don't want to risk killing him. We're going to move away after this, this next turn, I think. Definitely don't want to risk killing him. Actually, one of the things we could do to slow him down would be to just surround him with monks who are out of range, because they're not going to hurt him. And we don't need these monks.
Alright, just one more little old kill. One more little old kill. Prince, the moon is coming out. Moonlight makes them stronger. We must hurry. Go after the leader. Without the leader, they will retreat. Go get them. What? Um, I've waited, uh, you know, several turns after this, and I haven't seen them do anything interesting, so I'm not sure what that's about. Um, I don't think you're limited in the time you have to complete this scenario either, so I'm not sure what that's all about, that the moon makes them stronger crap. So this is just to kind of like delay him, that's all I'm doing. Just give him something to do. Uh, yeah, almost there with Sabra, good. Alright, in the map. Or in the turn. Almost in the map. Huh, I got him. Got him one. All right, cool. So now we uh, tornado in his face first. Weaken him a little bit. Oh, weakened him a lot. All right, and the Sabra goes in for the kill. Here comes a Ranger, level 10. Ranger! Sabra moved up to Ranger. And unfortunately we won't be able to see what it does until the next map because the map's ended. I can't believe they got this far. Can't we do more than just wait for them to advance? Wait! We should come up with something soon. Are we able to hold off until then? Hopefully, but it seems as though the evil has already revived. Okay, so we've come to the conclusion now we've got to take the fight to the evil rather than wait for it to spawn. So I'm going to go ahead and play this next one because that last one was pretty short. So this is the dragon one. This is the really cool one. Roar of the dragon. The evil came up with a surprise. It created a fierce dragon with one purpose, to get war song. Win, defeating the dragon. Lose, death of Garrett or dragon invades the city. Okay, so we have kind of a... Save the save the NPC type, type uh, map again, and so we've got um, we've got the dragon, and then we got uh, a couple of I don't know mini dragons with uh, troops, and then we've also got uh, a spell user, which is should be really easy to take out. And um, let's see here, the dragon's probably up there to the left, to the <coughs> upper left. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so, um, and we only have a few people to do it. So, let's see here, should we take, who should we take? Lance is already level 9. There's no reason to take Lance, because you can't level him up. You know, there's not really any reason to take him until, like, we need him. Um, we could, uh, level up Thorn if we wanted to. Yeah. I don't know, we could level up Thorn if we really wanted to. Do we really want to level up Thorn? I don't know. Um, I think it's, it's, if we got the chance, let's level up Thorn. Let's see here, let's um, remove who? Kalei? Let's remove Mina. Get Thorn in there. Okay. I'll go with that. 
because Thorn could kill that magic user guy. All right, so this is what a this is what a ranger looks like. Attack forty one, defense twenty eight, magic point sixteen. She can cast some weird spells, like I think it's like sleep or something like that, and also earthquake, which costs sixteen MP. So we have a we have one person that can cast earthquake now. But look at her revision. Her revision is zero and zero, and she can't hire any troops. So it's basically just you know the commander itself, which is uh, the big deal. Um, and I'm going to give her the shield. And that's going to up her defense to 32. And her attack is way over the limit we need to actually hurt the dragon, so that's fine. Uh, Thorn. Let's see, I think I will give Thorn the revision item. Or should I do that? Should I give him an evil axe or something? I think the revision item would be better for Thorn. Either Garrett or Kalei gets Warsong, I'm not sure which. Probably, let's give Kalei Warsong. Or no, we want to give her the casting thing, don't we? No, let's give her Warsong and then let's give Garrett the casting thing. Okay, and we'll make sure that these guys have some troops. Obviously. Monks for Kalei. Anything for Garrett. I think I think maybe we'll give him some horsemen. Okay, here we go. So, um Yeah. Okay, Garrett, uh you've got movement so you could stay right there. Um movement nine on the ranger, by the way. Plenty of movement. Thorn, you're gonna need to go up there. Mina or Kalei, I'm sorry, it's Kalei. I remember this one now. Oh, it's a spell user that's up there. Ah. Your Highness, we are in danger. A fierce dragon has been sighted. We must stop it outside of the city. Evacuate the citizens as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. I wonder if we could defeat the dragon alone. Actually, we can. Prince Garrett. Yes, priest. It has been said that the soul of fire is sleeping in the North Mountain. It may have a chance to defeat the dragon if we were able to awaken him. But if we should awaken it and anger it, it may join the enemy. That's a chance we'll have to take. We need all the help we can get. Okay, so um, I thought the dragon was up here for some reason. Now I remember this scenario. So the dragon's back here. Oh yeah. Attack 35, defense 35. There it is. Yeah. Pretty dangerous, actually. And these guys are, uh, let's see, 31, attack 31, defense 28. These guys are actually annoying, too. Um, but, yeah, the dragon is, uh, is extremely strong stat-wise. Attack 35, defense 35. Does also have some magic points, but very slow movement, so he's not, he's like Godzilla. He's not going to get here anytime soon. Um, I wish I had known that, uh, yeah, I wish I remembered the map. <laughs> so, um... Anyway, we're going to move Thorn up here. Thorn's going to go get that magic user. And you don't need to do this. You don't need to go up there and get the E-Freak. Uh, you could just beat the dragon by yourself if you want to. And I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to do that. I'm not going to let the E-Freak kill the dragon. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't think you can get any experience for doing it or anything. There's nothing special that happens. But we are going to go up there and kill that magic user, because that's extra experience that we want. Defense. Okay, and the ranger. The ranger. Ranger's awesome. Ranger's pretty cool. Okay, defense. So we're going to move these guys out of here so the citizens can get in the city. Into phase. Um, dudes, you might want to... There you go, yeah. That's, there's, that's the idea. You want to get out of there. So this is this is my favorite scenario of this whole game. Because the dragon is so cool. It's uh, It's got a nice... It's like gigantic, gigantic and it's got a nice little particle effect. Um, that I think was pretty slick. Having a little experience with particle effects myself. Yeah, 
yeah, so magic user up there is pretty weak. And what you what you got to do is you got to go up there and take out that magic user, and then you get uh, I don't know, you get this genie in a bottle guy. And uh, he's he's got um, oh wow, he doesn't he's not affected by um, by the uh, terrain there. Okay. Evacuate the, all the citizens at once, right away, sir. Try to hold them there. We need to buy some time. What do you mean? Use the citizens as shields, or what? What did you mean there? It's probably what's going to happen. Okay, so Sabra, look at her stats now: attack forty-one, defense thirty-two. Even if this dragon tries to go toe to toe with me, uh, with a defense of thirty-two and it, is, it only has an attack of thirty-five. The ranger's really not going to get hurt, so it's kind of cool. Or on the other hand, if you had a, um, a high priestess or whatever the class is there, if you had a high, I think it was a high priestess. If you had one of those and you gave it the shield, then it would have a defense of thirty-six, meaning the dragon would essentially not be able to to hit it. So, you know, the dragon's not that scary. But it's fun. Also, it can't really, like, it can, it's only one troop, so it, it can only attack one thing at a time. Extremely slow. Even the citizens can basically delay it enough that uh, you don't have to worry. Citizens are getting slaughtered. Those are cool um, troops, so those Dirachosaurs or whatever. Wish I wish I could get those. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, and here we got our ranger. I don't really like, I don't really need to get the ranger, you know, experience or anything like that, so. Uh, let's, uh, let's get in the way here. This is probably not gonna work out too well. Oh, we killed one though. No. It's most, this this one is most about mostly about commanders. I should probably not have even bought any troops except for Thorn. But oh well. Let's see here. We want to get through. How do we get through? Into face. Um, I would think that the other guys would start retreating too, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Yeah, they're just sitting there. Oh, there we go. So one of the lose conditions is the dragon invades the city. Um, I think that essentially means he, he actually steps foot in the city spot. It, it is not necessary to actually save the citizens from death in this case. So they can die all they want, along with the soldiers that are commanding them. Hmm. Eating some platinos. Platinos. Mm hmm. As expected, they, they have Fireball. I believe the dragon has Fireball, too. 
He's going to cast that a few times, I'm sure. Yeah, there it is. Ooh. I might just respond with my own spells here. Broken through the coastline. Pull back. We can't let it get any closer to the city. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Got a little thunder, Scarecrow. Thunder actually, you know, at this uh, at this point has some range. Definitely has some damage. But that's not bad range, as you can see. Alright, let's see what we can really do here. How about a tornado? Huh? Huh? What do you think? Tornado? We've already slowed the dragon down by weakening it a little bit. It's gonna be, um, let's say 8 health. Probably put it at, yeah, you know, 7 health, so... It's not going anywhere. Come on, give me one. There you go. I knew you could do that. No, no. There you go. There you go. We can still go over here and get, kill this guy. Aha! Who's your daddy now? Well, that slowed you down. You see how powerful magic is? It's just ridiculously powerful. Oh, by the way, we do have Earthquake. Yeah, Earthquake, Sleep, and Confusion. Confusion, I think, makes guys, uh, you know, maybe more likely to just attack anything, even their own their own allies. Um, sleep. Yeah, I don't know. I never use these. Puts people to sleep, I guess, for I don't know how long. But um, Earthquake, we know what that does. That's, look at the range on that. Go ahead and cast that just for fun. It also does quite a bit of damage. Wow. Yeah, it did a lot of damage. Alright, so that was fun, but no, we don't have any spell points on that character. Fun, though. Very fun. Let's go get this bastard up here. I want, I want that experience. I don't care about the genie. I might release the genie just for fun, although he, like, I think he teleports to the dragon and starts fighting him, so if the dragon's already weakened, he might kill him. But I just want to show him, because, you know, you probably want to see it. The genie versus dragon battle is pretty cool. Who doesn't want to see that? Oh, you guys aren't going to retreat anymore, huh? He's like, oh, I don't have to retreat now. Hmm. Hmm. Hope you guys like Fireball. I'm not sure what stats the genie had, but he was basically equal with the dragon. It's not a genie, it's an e -freak. it's a fire, or fire elemental, whatever the heck it is. We'll, we'll find out. But of course, I want the kill on the dragon, so we don't want him to, you know, do too much damage. actually move here or what? Let's go ahead and fireball. I don't have to move. There you go. 
Yeah, and these guys, I'm going to barely be able to even hurt these guys. Actually, not even going to be able to hurt these guys, sorry. Looks like I'm going to have to use my leader for that. I think I'll treat here. So we've got, um, well, we've got, <clears throat> we, we don't, the, the only, it's good to have like two people can, that can hurt this dragon and the evil axe might have helped, but um, I don't really need to. I need to just bombard with spells and then finish it off with a ranger when I feel like it. But we don't feel like it just yet. Uh, this guy is not retreating. Oh well. It doesn't matter if he dies. I, I keep thinking I'm in like uh, Langris or 2 where I get a reward if all these guys survive. But it's not the case. Uh, they can get slaughtered all they want. Another fireball. Does he run out yet? I think the dragon's gonna start shooting off a bunch of fireballs too. Alright, here we go. We're gonna wipe this guy out, I think. Good God, really? Really? That was really sad. I hit I hit him once. I hit him once. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna hit him from every freaking side that I can here. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, there you go. All right, good. Got rid of that guy. I got a feeling the dragon's going to start checking fireballs here. positive he is. Alright, Thorn, you're up. Time to get rid of this stupid spell user guy. All we have to do is a one for one. We don't really need to do anything fancy here. He, he, I guess he has some kind of spell or something, yeah. It's okay. We don't need to worry about that too much. Absolutely wimpy, this guy. This is just free experience, basically. Nope, you're not gonna move. Okay. I don't think we're going to get enough experience to get Thorn um, to level 10, unfortunately, though. <clears throat> oh, they killed one! <laughs> with zero attack, they managed to kill one just out of luck. Yep, here he goes with his fireball. That's what I thought he's going to do. Yep, gonna just fireball away. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so we want to make our way down here with our saint. 
and get those Styracosaurs or whatever the heck they're called. Thunder? Thunder. You know what? I'm thinking I'm going to move up with Garrett because that Thunder is not going to reach where I want it to reach here. So yeah, we're going to move all the way up here with Garrett. Garrett doesn't actually. You know what? I don't. I don't. I don't need to drag those horses along with Garrett. We're we're going to do all our killing with Mina. Hmm. No, I don't want to move in yet. We don't want to go in yet because we want to we want to weaken with a spell first. Level six for Thorn. Oh, that looks like that um, that necklace also adds to defense, which is makes it kind of nice. Maybe that's better than I thought it was then. Come on! Oh, are you kidding me? Oh man, that's sad. That really is sad. There you go. Okay, that's that's it. Next turn. We haven't actually seen the dragon attack front on yet, but um it's coming. Is the other guy gonna move? He's just gonna stay there. Uh, that other guy's just gonna stay there. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I want to, before we end the map, we definitely want to get these uh, these troops here that we can get some experience off of first. They're still in the water, though, is the problem. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dude. Dude. I told you. I told you to get out of there. Look at that. You're just going to get fried now. What a dodo. Okay, well, thunder time. Thunder in paradise. Alright. Yeah. Take it. Take it all. Alright, um, I'm... I, maybe I should just do a tornado. Why not? Could heal my troops or I could just do a tornado. Let's do a tornado. Might kill a couple of those. I killed one. That was it. Okay. Well, that's okay. Now kill this guy. Shouldn't be too hard, right? There you go. Cool. 
cool. Um, yeah, let's do that. And we're going to need to heal up a little bit. Uh, let's actually heal this guy, this guy, that guy. This guy. This guy just move forward. Actually, this guy just move forward, too. And then I'll heal this guy. Okay, they're going to do just healing next turn. They're not going to be moving. Don't lose. Thank you. Level 7. Now, for sure, what this guy is going to do next turn is he's going to zap me with the, his spell. So, I'm perfectly saved here. And that's it. Yep, told you. And those guys are just going to heal up. It's fine. You're perfectly fine with me. Let's see here. Let's do this and kill this guy. Hopefully. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to throw up a little bit of healing here. And then we're going to go in like so. Don't screw up, thank you. And then we should be able to finish these guys off. Okay, good. That was a little, a little iffy, but we did it. Okay, so that guy's going to be healing next turn. We did manage to kill two. Which is alright. We actually managed to kill quite a few there. Alright, we definitely gonna finish it off next turn actually. No, I can't. Okay. And I'm gonna put these guys, these uh, monks are now not of any use to me. I'm going to put them in the way of the dragon so he doesn't do, like, you know, any killing this next turn. Not that it matters. And I, I just want to see that nice particle effect that was so... I, I used to love so much. So I'm just going to advance a bunch of troops and get them killed by that dragon because I really want to see that particle effect. It's so awesome. And the ranger doesn't matter. Put a ranger up here. She, we're, we're, gonna, we're not going to use her for a little while. And Thorn, you've got to heal. And uh, he's going to come on and, and kill one of these guys, but we don't care. Yeah, it's going to be that one. Okay. All right. Oh, he's got one more fireball. Not for long, though. Well, let's let's just have a little fun with it. Let's see. I want to see that particle effect. There he is. Boom! <laughs> I love that. It's awesome. So awesome. See it again. Well, actually, I have to kill this guy, huh? Um, alright, so we gotta, you know, we gotta maybe kind of get kind of serious here. Yeah, we want to get rid of this guy. It's Joker. Might be able to kill him without even using my, my leader. Let's see. Come on. 
Yeah, you're not gonna cooperate. No, nah, never mind. We're gonna use the leader. So we're gonna. I, I want to see this again. Boom! 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 Just wow! Flamethrower, awesome, awesome looking flamethrower. And that'll get her to level three. Oh no, he's got some, he's got one more spell. Okay, so we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see one more of those that stupid spell fireball spell that he's got. So we're gonna hit again, basically. Oh, this guy's finally retreating. Brilliant, bro. Thorn. Dude. Um, I'm going to put Thorn over here, and I'm going to put his guy right there. This guy's probably going to get wiped out, but I want Thorn on the, um, on the mountain here. Here goes, I'm gonna get this one wiped out. Yeah, okay. Fine, but I'll heal Thorn next turn and, and Thorn will be, um, be in a good defensive spot. There's, okay, there's his last of his spell points, thank God. I'm not gonna use all my spell points either. So again, we're just kind of throwing guys out there to get them in the way. The dragon will, will waste his time, you know, just shooting troops with, you know. He's, he's never going to get all the way though, he's just, there's too many troops in the way, he's going to waste his, too much of his time. He only has three movement. All right. I believe you're going to die. Oh my god, really? Now that was bad luck because I've got 22 defense there and uh, he nearly killed me. And I was on a 30% defense terrain. It definitely shouldn't have happened like that. I'm not sure what, what to think about that. Yeah, 25 attack, 22 defense, and I'm on 30% terrain. That shouldn't have shouldn't have gotten me that bad. But it did. Is everybody healed up here? Okay, more or less, everybody's healed up. nuts in the background. Okay, um, next, well, move now, okay, next, no, not next turn, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, okay, yeah, next turn. That's <laughs> so cool. Alright, Thorn, you get healed. Treated, actually. This guy's going to have 7 health. And uh, then I'm going to... I guess I'm going to attack him. And hope to God that I don't get a bad roll. I guess I should have sent somebody else up there, huh? Alright, there's not really not much to do... I want to get this ranger as close as possible in preparation. Next turn. He's going to just kill more troops. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I want to make a particle effect kind of like that for my game. Okay, so Thorn, we're going to go and attack this guy with Thorn. Thorn should wipe him out. There we go. Okay. Good. What is this pot? This must be what the priest was talking about. You have opened the pot. <laughs> opened the pot. I will grant you one wish. Uh, look at the, look at him. He's got a 41 attack, defense 34. Wow. Uh, we are fighting against the dragon. We need your help to defeat it. Very well. And then he teleports, what, to the dragon? No, he teleports over here. Okay, so, you know, um, he's got... Highest stats in the game so far, I think, even higher than my Ranger. 41 attack, defense 34, magic point 16, move 8. Even outstrips my Ranger, yeah. So it's kind of cool to see them fight. I, I mean, I don't... Do I want to drag it on that long so I can see them fight? I think maybe I do. I think we'll do that. Why not? I want to see him fight. What is the, uh, the defense um, modification on this guy? Okay, so he's a flying troop. He gets 30% defense modification no matter the terrain. So let's um, let the, let's let these guys fight just because it's kind of cool to see. And yeah. So that what's the movement? Oh, this guy's movement eight. That's right. Okay. Okay, just kind of move this guy just out of the way, just so they can get, you know. I think that should be fine. Let's interrupt. I don't want the free freak to kill him, because then I missed the experience. So let's go ahead and into phase. Oh, he's going to do the freaking fireball thing now. Oops, I didn't realize he was going to do that. Come on, guys. They got a fight now. Okay. Well, I didn't realize that he was going to do the fireball thing. Darn it! He's going to just waste his time again. Oh, I've got freaking four more of those. You know what? Let's retreat. I, I guess we'll we'll just freaking pull out and uh, hope that these guys can. No, maybe the dragon will attack him or something. I want to see these guys fight. I'm going to completely freaking pull back here. I could have ended this scenario a long time ago, but I want to see these two fight. Alright, go for it, guys. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there he is. Oh, a fire giant has appeared out of nowhere. This is the soul of fire. He is here to help us defeat the dragon. Dragon, prepare to meet your doom. Alright, cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's not get carried away there, bro. Alright, cool. So that was it. And that's all I'm going to let them do, because I don't want them to kill it. If he kills it, then... Uh, I don't get this. I don't get uh, the experience for that. So we're gonna move our ranger in then. Okay, but that was cool. That was cool. You gotta admit that was pretty cool. All right, so let's go. They're not gonna do anything next turn because they're both wounded. So I'm gonna move in like this. There you go. Unfortunately, I cannot kill that fire elemental because they won't let me target that guy. Um, I could just go in there with a ranger, but let's weaken it a little bit first. That way I make sure I actually have a kill. There you go. Okay, now the ranger can definitely take it, um, despite the 30% defense. 
Gotcha. The dragon is retreating. We made it, but we don't know if it will attack again. He's been seriously injured. We survived. We must finish it before it can heal itself. After it. Alright, so... Dragon is actually kind of two parts. You, you fight it in this scenario, and then you go and you chase it in the next scenario. So, scenario 16. Alright, so, um... Well, this has a, actually a lot of enemies in this one, so this will be fun. I remember this one. Um, Alright, so we're going to go ahead and save this for the next video, though.